Hello, I'm Helen Bradley. Welcome to this video tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll show you how you can create tints and shades of colors in Illustrator. I'm going to start with a document, so I'm going to choose File and then New. I'm going to be working in RGB color mode, so I'm just setting the size of my document and I'll click Create. In earlier versions of Illustrator, you'll have a dialog like this, so just go ahead and set up your document. Click Create Document. Now I want some small rectangles for my colors that I plan to use. So I'm going to create a rectangle. I'm just going to fill it with a solid color for now, remove the stroke, and I'm going to make some duplicates of this. So I'm going to select the selection tool and just alt drag a series of rectangles away or squares away. I'm going to select this group and I'm going to just line up some additional colors underneath. So at this point I'm going to select over all of these and I'm going to choose my sort of starting color. I've got a color that I want to work with. It's sort of going to be a turquoise color. So I'm going to go and select it and this is going to be my sort of neutral color. So I'm going to be looking at tints and shades of it as well as colors that will go well with it. So once I've selected my color I'm going to color all my squares that same color. Now let's go and get Illustrator to do the work in finding tints and shades and also colors that go with this. I'll choose Window and then Color Guide. Now the Color Guide is sampling at the moment the color that I'm using here, which is exactly what I want it to do. So I'm just going to make sure that it is sampled here and I'm going to select the first color box that I want to put a shade into. Now I'm seeing tints and shades here. If you don't see those, open the Fly Out menu and choose Tints and Shades. So I'm going to choose a shade here that I can use and I can just sample again if I don't get it right the first time. And now let's look at a tint. Well, that's a pretty good combination here. Going back to this square, I'm going to double click here to make sure that we're actually looking at this as our base color. And now I can go ahead and find a color harmony that goes with the color that I've selected. These are colors that have a spatial relationship to this color on the color wheel. And they're called things like complementary and split complementary. Some people might be really familiar with these and if you're not it doesn't really matter. You can just look here for color schemes that you like and they're all related sort of mathematically if you like in relation to this color here on the color wheel. So I'm going to select a color combination that I like. I kind of like this analogous one. So let's go ahead and use it. So now what I need to do is to set this color as one of these analogous colors. So I'm going to click on this. Now I'm going to select this here and I want to select a shade for this. So I'm going to click that for the shade. I could go a bit darker if I wanted to. Click here and now I'm going to go for a tint of that color. I'll click down here now and we're going to pick up another color from this harmony rule. I'll go back and select here and now let's go and get a shade of that color. And then here now a tint of that color. Now let's go and get another one of the colors from the harmony rule. I think I'm going to choose this sort of greeny color. Then I'll click here and because this was the last box here, this is going to be the shade of that color and this is going to be its tints. So that's a nice easy way of finding shades and tints of colors as well as finding color harmonies which are colors that go well with the color that you have selected. I hope that this video has helped you in creating tints and shades and finding color harmonies in Illustrator. If you did enjoy the tutorial, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel and you'll be alerted when new videos are released. And visit my website at projectwoman.com where you'll find more tips, tricks and tutorials on a range of applications, including Photoshop, Lightroom, Illustrator and a whole lot more.